I think we'll see a continued trend in the rollout of the internet in particular. You have you have incumbent industries, in particular telecom and cable television, that have been in charge of rollout of the internet. But these industries have a strategic interest in preventing that rollout because it's going to disintegrate their existing cash cows. I think what you want to take a look at in terms of innovation is ways to circumvent these particular uh, these particular industries and I'd also like to give a shout out at Google Glass and how ubiquitous recording might change social values for the better or worse is a different is a matter of perspective but we'll all have to relate to it I think anyone daft enough to answer that question is well just a lot braver than me the one thing is certain is whatever I said would be wrong uh, and rather than actually cause uh, a largish audience to be laughing at me. I think I'll dump that on, if you don't mind. Today, we are working very closely with the automobile industry in terms of uh, looking at the transport vehicle of the future. I believe there is a lot of innovation that will come from that uh, in terms of uh, not only saving drivers' lives or passengers, but also in making the car much more intelligent to a point of uh, uh, optimizing the transport system, but also uh, increasing the road safety. Well, I think the next big innovation is, is mass collaboration and um, the European Internet Foundation, which is a collection of forward-looking MEPs, have identified this really as the dominant paradigm for the next 10 or 15 years and I, I very much agree with them.